You live in America where people beg for food and homeless people get ignored on the streets. Where people dig in rubbish bins for food to eat. Where people only care about themselves walking around in polluted air. But you dare to call us poor. We don't have these things. I'm really sorry for you all if you can't appreciate natural beauty. We try hard to preserve nature and limit human activities on our island because that's who we are. If you ever came to Dominica looking for vanity and materialism, you already had that in America, so you should have stayed there. The only things we have to offer is generosity, adventure for nature lovers, fresh air, and a no-stress lifestyle. We might not be wealthy, but between us two, you are the poor ones. In times like this, we, the entire Caribbean, stand united. But one day, something will happen to America, and I want to see where you all, and to whom, will you turn to. Because so far, the only thing that's happening in this country is violence and terrorism. We, on the contrary, live in harmony, and we don't have enemies. This is an island with 365 rivers surrounded by seas and loaded with waterfalls. You can go as high as you want. You can't run away from floods during a storm. This is just a weak tropical storm, most of you say. Yes, the wind wasn't major, but raining was drastic. You could be crossing the road and get hit by a car. What makes you think that you are in any position to believe that what we what happened to us was because we weren't prepared for it. One week after Katrina in 2005, the United States officially asked the European Union for emergency help. So I really don't see why most of you think that you are in a better position than Dominica. Who want to help will help us, but we are definitely not begging America for anything.